Time to take care of the last of the minions that frickin' Kaleem has. But I gotta get there first. That means getting through a lot more weird characters who happen to just keep walking my way. Oh, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, I was going that up for a bit. Gosh, oh, me, Gunner. Me, Gunner. Of course. I only bought him and another one because they had a music track to go along with them. I'll say the big old mini remix they did have for this was nice. It is weird though, Undertale got so much popular it's actually able to feature in freaking Smash Brothers. I still find that kind of odd. You know, that game is definitely still overrated as fuck. It was a good game though, but the way the fan base treats it is like it's the greatest video game ever, and all these characters like the greatest thing any video game franchise has ever done. Like, yo. It's a little much. It's a little much the fan base in this game, guys. And it has a fan base like the level of like Minecraft. Some of the immature people ruin it for everybody else who just heard of it and wants to get into it. Another one of those franchises where the fan base can ruin the experience for everybody else. Because they're just too devoted to it. Oh yeah. I have to wonder how Delta Rune's coming. Chapter 3 came out, didn't it? I have not been paying attention to the news of Delta Rune at all. Because I already played Chapter 1, and then Chapter 2 came out for free, and I still haven't played that, so. I mean, hey, good for Toby Fox being able to devote to his passion of his own little personal game. What is an interesting approach to the strain? I was going to call it an RPG. Ugh. It's like RPG in a very loose sense. But, you know, I understand why people really appreciate the whole idea. It's like, why do you kill your enemies when you can befriend them? What? Yeah, you don't want to be a mean guy. Why do you want to kill anybody? Killing's wrong. Ah, here we go. Now I can take the train. This is what I needed. Ooh, chance to double final smash. I do like me Gunner, though. Me Gunner feels like the best of them, honestly. Then again, the Sword Fighter always thought was the worst of the Me Fighter, so. That's why I struggle with me, Sword Fighter. You got a lot of other better Sword Fighters. You don't need them. Hey, well, welcome back, everybody, to more of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light. This is your host, EMJ406. Ready? Now we do this. I was right. You have to do the Spear Tracks thing. Why is Alfonso dashing in gold? Oh, he is a fucking guy who helps repair your train. At least I remember Spear Tracks correctly. Not like the train can run into people. Oh, well, you did have other opposing trains you can run into. Then again, this stage also references that. For example, the arrow is indicating that something's going to happen. I forgot. You know, another controversial opinion people hate about me. I actually have a big fan of Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I know it seems weird, because the DS entries are usually looked down upon greatly. Especially the fact people saw the train travel for... Spear Tracks are like, this is fucking stupid. Honestly, I like it better than Phantom Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass felt like a poor man's Wind Waker from top down. The exploration wasn't as fun. The dungeons were not great. And fucking... Not to mention Temple of the Ocean King. I always mention how much I hate Temple of the Ocean King. My least favorite dungeon ever put in a single Zelda game. It's so... Bad! I hate it! I hate it so much. At least Spear Tracks, the dungeons are better. The train travel can be a little monotonous, but honestly, they do enough to make it not completely boring. I can say this, it's better than it seems. A lot of people give it shit because, like, ooh, right, it's free, it seems so stupid. Yeah, riding a boat seems stupid too. Look how much people love Wind Waker now. Riding vehicles seems stupid, but look how much everybody loves Tears of the Kingdom. Eat your own fucking words, Zelda fans! Just saying. You can't have your own cake and punch a dog. Wait, what? Try to come up with a new phrase. That's not a good phrase. Don't. Why are you trying to ruin things? You make me want to hate you? I'd be curious to see how long it would take. Please stop. Yeah! But yeah. There are definitely some fan base that can ruin a lot of games for people. Friggin' Minecraft is one of them. Yeah! Oh god, no, I need to keep hitting the trampoline. God I'll damn it. Weird I decided to be somebody yellow against two yellow characters. Oh, friggin' Rick! God damn you, Rick, you're such a dick! But yeah, they're a fan base, toxic Ready? fan base, they can rule a lot of things. Undertale's one of them, Minecraft's one of them. 
I was gonna say Call of Duty, but then again, they kind of keep to themselves, just accept the fact they love Call of Duty, and some are willing to just play that. But Undertale's one that's just like, yo, I get you love the game, but you're gonna tell everybody it's the best game ever and force that they have to play it or else they don't know what life is like? Like, bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up! Your toxicity is very unnecessary. I hope you die. You're not helping! <laughs> You're the exact opposite! There's also people that, that blindly hate other certain things. That's another kind of toxic fan base as well. Blind haters. I was with that with Sony for a bit. I freaking hated, like, everything Sony did, because I just, you know, I just felt like there were copycats of everybody, and freaking, you know, I just was not a fan of a lot of their games, personally. I just thought so many other things were overrated. I'm not nearly as bad at it as I used to be. I recognize a lot of what Sony did, but yeah, toxic fan bases can ruin a lot of things. I mean, you got a lot of fan bases for a freaking, yeah. I said, Undertale is a great example of a fan base that could be just pure, just horror. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is that a fucking dragon? Oh, yeah. I forgot. It was a Monster Hunter segment. Yep. It's Rathalos from freaking Monster Hunter. Yep, they had him as a boss in this game too, believe it or not. And he is just as terrifying as I guess he was in Monster Hunter. Huh. Goddamn Monster Hunter. You no, know, I could talk about Monster Hunter, because it's amazing. That honestly feels like Capcom's biggest franchise now. It's amazing how big the franchise of Capcom oh. become. I mean, Resident Evil's always been their most profitable. Ever since, like, original Resident Evil. That series has always had a niche because of the first horror game to really, you know, do a horror-based video game justice. Like, others, like, had, like, horror-themed things, and they were, like, kind of terrifying in their own way. But Resident Evil's the first to, like, actually feel like a legit horror movie. And that's why it worked so well. And every entry people ate up, even the bad ones. Like, frickin' 5 and 6, to my knowledge. Now, I know they're more action game based than horror game based because of four, but from what I've heard, at least the remakes have been trying to blend action and horror together. Well, so you know, it's not like I can continue on the Resident Evil series. I don't have. A oh God, Tricky! Ah! The most terrifying thing of all. You, Tricky. But you know how probable they are. Yet, it still feels like Monster Hunter started to become the most profitable franchise they have. And again, it's another one of those franchises that Nintendo, that Japan fucking just eats up. You know, it's a great, like, action... I was going to say action RPG, but it is a pretty good action game that relies on a lot of team-based combat for you to, like, strategically attack monsters and avoid them and hit them in certain spots. Like, you can, like, detach their parts, too. Like, dude... I may not play the Monster Hunter series, but I can definitely understand its appeal. Unfortunately, it's another one of those franchises you need people to appreciate. Like Sea of Thieves. The sea of Thieves, I've heard it's a great game by Rare. I don't appreciate it myself, but... I've heard, you know, if you have the fans to actually play the game, and especially friends to enjoy it with, you can get a lot out of it. Which, you know, good for you. I just don't really find myself going to play that. So this is a, mu a much more of a solo game player. So, you know, playing something like that is not very appealing to me myself. There you go, bury me. I'll probably need that. It's probably going to dig me under the ground. Yeah, Monster Hunter's really developed into a big franchise for Capcom. It's like their biggest moneymaker now. All Resident Evil still sits up there pretty high. Well, Mega Man doesn't make them much of anything, yet it's still seen as arguably their mascot. Then again, they've had a hard time trying to keep working on Mega Man, so many of their games feel the same, but that's kind of the point of how his style works. They have the spin-off to give you different style of Mega Man games. If you want a different kind of Mega Man game, you just gotta go for a different, something different than the core series, that's all. And there's some fans that do not understand that. <laughs> they changed Mega Man to be Metroid Mania style! Um, we have... Apparently, CX and Z's advent for that. They would do that on a core Mega Man game. That doesn't make sense! It's supposed to be later stages where you choose which one to go after, and then you go after the boss and kill them and take their ability. And that's how the regular Mega Man franchise works. Ah, get the fuck away from me. I don't like you. Oh, he's guarding the treasure, too. Yeah, I gotta hunt him down. 
That's another thing with the Monster Hunter franchise. Apparently, there's like a chasing aspect to them, too. Like, you actually have to go out of your way to, like, trap them so you can actually fight them. They go away. Like, there's a lot of fun mechanics with Monster Hunter from what I've seen. I tried the demo. I had my fun with it, but... Again, not the power friends who enjoy it, franchise like that with. It's kind of hard to, uh, you know, appreciate a series like that. Ready? You need to have your friends that are dedicated Go. to it. As well. All right, I gotta say another thing with the, just this mode right now. How have there been so many dragon-based Pokemon spirits that all just result in fucking Charizard? Like, dude, can you stop with the Charizard battles? For fuck's sake. Other characters in this game need love, too! Like, give more of these characters love. Stop making just fucking Charizard! For fuck's sake, just stop! God! Fuck you! Wait, Charizard, I'm sick and tired of you being here all the time! And again, I know some of my friends who are dedicated to playing only that. Like, they, if they're playing with people, they want to play it. Like, they, like... You guys have Monster Hunter, right? You have to play this, right? Like, look, I get that people can love it, but again, come back to the toxic fan base thing. For some of you are so extremely dedicated to certain games or series, and it's like, it's like, it's amazing how, like, I don't know how you can be so blindly dedicated to a certain thing. I don't understand sometimes. I admit, I can be a blind Nintendo fanboy. I play most of the Nintendo games. Like, come on, you should know that already. Doesn't mean I'm not willing to, you know, see their faults. Eat shit. I was hoping that would get him. Fine, eat this. Ah, that still worked. God, what a beast. It, it, it sucks when they just try to force their opinion on you. They force it on you. They are, like, dedicated to making sure you understand their love. I kind of, like, passionately, like, plead for something, but... Oh, I don't like that. I'm gonna go back over here. I like this spot better. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, you have to, like, chase him and force him to the spot. That's how it works, I think. You have to go a certain direction. Because he runs away from you. I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. You're mean. I don't like you. All right, so I probably want to come from the stairs. Gotcha. So I'll come this way, then. Rambling Evil Mushroom. I think it doesn't talk. Of course, Rambling just referred to the way it walks. <sighs> I mean, I can be... I can already be seen as a toxic Mario fanboy. <laughs> I fucking love everything that's Mario the Passion. Even awful things like Mario's Game Gallery. Or freaking. Well, there are some things I don't touch, like Hotel Mario, Mario's Time Machine. I'm willing to rip up things like New Super Mario Bros. 2. Yeah, I'll buy almost every single Mario game. Almost! There's some I haven't bought. Like Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. I actually, uh, friggin' Impulse decided to buy friggin' Mario Sports Mix when the Wii U eShop was going down, just so I had it, because I never played it before. Oh, God! Shit. Oh, the reverse controls got me. Frickin' rambling. Fucking evil mushroom. See what you like the reverse controls, bitch. Also, we were in a Pikmin based world, even though this is a freaking, you know, earthbound enemy. That's right, eat it! Oh, man, I nearly got myself killed with a freaking mushroom. Freaking reversed me. Piece of shit. But yeah. I at least plead my case for why I like a thing. I'm not gonna be like, you have to play this. You have to go get this thing, because it's the greatest game ever. It's one of the greatest franchises. You don't play it, you are missing out on gaming. I'm at least very selective what I say about that. Like, there are certain things in video game history I feel like you should play. I mean, you know, it's just something I feel like it's something you kind of have to do, but, you know. I have kind of been hypocritical about that too, haven't I? I feel like you've had to play the original Super Mario Brothers, so I can't call you a gamer. Ready, go. That's like saying you should only that if you don't play Call of Duty because it's the most popular gaming franchise there is, then you cannot be called a gamer. <laughs> you don't play Call of Duty, you don't know what video games are about. Because that's the most popular video game franchise. You didn't play Grand Theft Auto as well, and Pokemon. It's not the most popular, doesn't mean you have to play them. 
But, you know, I'm at least, like, I will explain why I'm a big fan of a thing, but I will not, you know, force my belief onto others to basically be like, if you don't play this, then you're wrong. There we go, he's pinned down. Now we can properly battle him. See, we gotta pin him down to the top of the mountain. Once you do that, you can battle him proper. How the hell do I get over there? Well, I guess I have to switch. Huh, Warm Big? Yeah, it really shows I haven't played Monster Hunter games. I don't know if there's puzzles like that. Oh good, Breath of the Wild Zelda, the worst one. Cool for you. The shippers are very happy that you and Link are officially dating. I also hate from the freaking the new Zelda games, he is actually Link. They can't let you name him. Like, that's fucked. <laughs> They've streamlined him so much, you can't even let us name him anymore. They probably don't want the online feedback of people naming them things with, like, ass and fuck and shit and dick and other frickin' slurs and... Oh, God, they give you all the freaking All your freaking heroes, too? God damn it. Get out of here, freaking. I'm gonna call you Darudia. I don't even remember all your fucking names! I must have forgotten about Breath of the Wild. Oh, yeah, certain fan bases like that for freaking like, you know... Certain games, like Breath of the Wild, for example. Like, you don't have to. If you think that Breath of the Wild is a bad game, then you do not appreciate gaming. You are somebody who should never play video games again. It's the greatest game that's ever happened. Shut the fuck up with your opinion. Like, ah! Defeat. Continue. Who was Inkling supposed to Oh, maybe it was Zora. I don't know. But yeah. The blind toxism of fanboys can be awful. Whether it's blindly hating something or blindly loving something. Both can be bad. If you tell somebody they have to do something because you like it and because you think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, which I don't even think sliced bread is that good to begin with. I eat by the loaf! <laughs> yeah, I eat by the loaf. <laughs> Screw your sliced bread. <laughs> That's dumb. Good. I'm glad I kicked that off. I need to get that freaking killing edge off you. Ugh. Why I have to be Jigglypuff? Why'd Random have to treat me so wrong? God damn it. Leave me alone! I feel slow. By the way, I have to kill you all. Mm. There we go. Alright, good. I can handle Falcon. It's fine. Yeah, I just got to handle Zelda after that. All right, Zelda, bring it on. All right, the great hero. How I forget? The greatest like of all time. That's fucking wonderful. Oh, wow, you two are actually fighting together? Zelda, you don't actually do anything. This is wrong. What is this? The one of Gamelon? <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying to remember. That was when I started Zelda, right? I know Zelda's adventure was there. I know one of them starred Link, the other starred Zelda. I want to say one of the one that starred Zelda. Oh! No! You throw the sword at me! Wow. I guess her weapon degraded enough she had to throw it at me. Great weapon durability. Gotta love that. I'm still a fan of the older Zeldas. I mean, what would you love, but goddamn. You can express your opinion, but you don't have to force somebody to change that way. You can't just tell people they have to love or hate a certain thing just because you do, because you... See things like you're a visionary. Ready? Like you're somebody who understands Go. why this is great or why this sucks. I know I contradict my point sometimes by telling people why I love a thing and saying they should too, but... You know, I don't mean to be forceful about it. I'm just expressing it. I just more just like, that's my opinion, man. <laughs> it's just your opinion, man. And that's really all I have to say about it. It's like, that's my opinion. You don't have to like it. But at least appreciate why I have the views I do. That's all it really is to be. That's all it needs to be. Because we have our viewpoints. Appreciate what they are. Just, you know, don't be blind to the criticism. That's all. And unfortunately, I feel like there's too much of that nowadays. That some people are just willing to say, fuck criticism. Everybody should be respected wholly. Because no matter what anybody does, if anybody's anything wrong, that is wrong in our society now. Everybody has to be treated with respect. And fuck you for ever doing anything that can be seen as wrong. Continue. I did pretty well, Jigglypuff, all things considered, but I gotta eat her character now. 
And I really wanted to get this whole area taken care of before this episode ended, but I might not be able to now. I keep getting the lack of jump, too. That's really freaking annoying. At least let me be somebody better, please. Oh, I don't think I was Diddy yet. I think I forgot about that. Well, I'm gonna be Diddy now. I keep forgetting I'm not being new characters. I'm really screwing that up. Who the hell would be here in the freaking Monster Hunter world anyway? What character am I be getting? Ow. DK, buddy, what the hell? Supposed to be best friend, dude. What the hell's the matter with you? Oh, I am not a fan at all of what you're doing to me. Mm. I'll have to put you all in your place. Teach you all a lesson you'll never forget. Well, you know. At least people can have their passions and have fun with them, but. But sometimes I have to be upset at the fan base as well for things I like. Like, seriously, you toxic people will make some of us look bad. Like, for real. Some of us look bad because of the, some of the blind things you guys do. Bashing on somebody else or expressing too much love for a franchise. I mean, I always, I always rip on people that do the fan art stuff. <laughs> wow. Why did that make me fall down so fast? Shit. I always rip on people that do the fan art because, well, that's what their, fan, their fetishes and their freaking, you know, weird pleasures come in. You do things that others don't want to see, and it's just disgusting. Like, seriously. You do not have to defile characters and things like that just because it makes you feel better. At least do that in private. Don't do that so everybody else can see it. Like, why are you proud to show that off? I have to wonder that sometimes. Why would somebody be so proud to show off their fetishes like that? Ow! What the fuck? Like, I hit it like four different attacks at once. Well, I'm dead. I need to go after DK because he keeps killing me that fucking ore club. Yeah, there's no way I'm surviving that. That combo knocked out like half my health at once. Oh my god. Fucking sick of all these guys ganging up on me. Oh, fuck. I just know a lot of the popular games fan bases do sicken me. Ready? It's one of those things that can discourage people from trying from trying something new. If you're trying to get new fans to try out something, you don't want to be overly forceful like that. That's just not how it works. You can't just be like, it's like this, so you'll like it, or, you know. This is clearly better than this. You should do that. Or, that was stupid. I don't know why you would ever, ever like that. Like, Sonic Fanbase has it both ways. You got people that say every single game of it sucks and the series should die. And you have people that say that just love Sonic so much they're willing to just do everything with him. And I mean everything. <laughs> That's more of my point, though. Like, you can't just, you know go to the point where it's basically you love him to the point that it's like all you think about is all your love is all your love or hate is about like one thing like that's just wrong man that's just wrong and again you know Victory! it's another one of those things I feel like the social media community is worse and people are able to force their passions an anonymously and because of that they can basically force their opinions on people and also spread misinformation. That also doesn't help. Oh, Toon Link, I guess it makes sense. I'm gonna go a stronger fighter. I'm tired of getting my ass beat. So I'm just gonna do this instead. Good, my favorite Link of this game. New Link isn't bad, but Toon Link has always been my favorite because of his speed and his high jumping. He's a lightweight, but he's also surprisingly powerful. Let's go Toon Link. You know, it's just one of those things you have to try to keep in check, like, how far you're willing to go to defend something. Are you really, right, are you really gonna sell, like, your whole life and soul over protecting a certain property? Is it that worth it to you? Is there one thing that makes you so happy in life that you have to go out of your way and basically say that if you guys don't, if you don't like this, then I don't know you as a person. You don't deserve to live. 
Yeah, there are probably people that do that. There are probably people that honestly think that. You should kill yourself. Like, why? Just because I don't like a thing? What's the matter with you? That's the biggest little reaction I've ever heard! Toon Link joins the battle! Although, I guess there are very rare circumstances where there could be something like that, where they may, may rather be better off like that. I was about to compare it to something else. You know what? I was about to say something stupid. Never mind. What? Is there a fast way of reading it to Rathlos? I gotta see. Oh, yeah, right there. Well, I may look for the other spirits and then deal with Rathalos next time. At this point, I've already ruined myself, so I may as well. I still have the boss to put up with, too. Son of a bitch. I keep forgetting she's still out there now. Yeah, there are plenty of fan bases I can be seen as toxic. Pokemon fan base, Metal Gear Solid fan base, Sonic fan base, Minecraft fan base, Undertale fan base, Mario fan base, friggin' Sony Games fan base, Microsoft Games fan base, Console Wars fan base, Nintendo fans in general, friggin' PC Master Race fan base. There's, there's so many! It's it's insane. That's kind of how these all communities get their names. You got so many of them just get so far in the ridiculousness with their fans that, you know. Huh. Also, it's weird I'm being Pyron Miffer for dealing with frickin' Melly. I just realized I did another Xenoblade versus Xenoblade thing. It's, it's just... The toxic fan man, fan boys can ruin everything. Like, at least judge it for yourself and don't fucking just ridicule others just because they don't agree with you. I may say I don't agree with your opinion, I'm not just gonna say you're. I'm not gonna be like you're a retard because you don't like what I like. But that's fucking an extreme of reaction to anything. <laughs> like what the fuck? That's like toxic to the extreme. Like you actually hate a person because of that. At least when it comes to like being a fan of something, I feel like if you have a disagreement on something, it, yeah, let me be fucking Porygon at low. But, Stat 1100 for a 9,000. Yeah, that's, that's smart. That's smart. That's cool. Yeah, let me lower my level down a little bit so I'm at least a little more even with you. There we go. I'll be chic. God damn it. I hate being chic. Also, just realized I forgot to be freaking Toon Link. Ready? I'll save it for Rathalos. That'll work out. <laughs> Alright, well, at least a slow super armor will help us so I don't get hit off very easily. Oh, DK is the best brat for dealing with that sort of thing, because he actually pick you up and throw you off. And he can carry you like a dick. Don't you dare. Ooh, slow super armor actually makes dealing with the dash ones a lot easier. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Your dash attack can't do much if super armor doesn't lift you off the ground. If you rely on that, ooh, something to keep in mind. Damn, they really do have a lot of good strategies for countering each of these spirits. I keep forgetting how in-depth some of this is. You also got your Smash Bros. fan base. Can't forget that. Some people have bl blindly believed that Smash Bros. is the greatest fighting game ever. And there's those that are toxic against because it's not a real fighting game. It's more of a platformer than a fighting game. This is stupid. But you ever play a game? It doesn't have real fighting mechanics. It's for noobs. Shit like that. Like, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's all I can say. Shut the fuck up. Just, if you can, try to tune them out. That's all I can say about toxic fan bases. For, for the good or worse of things. Damn, I got a lot of spirit points. My man, give me a lot of the spirit I need. Well, you need to level up, so I'll throw you in. You need to level up, so I'll throw you in. Any of those that have, are like somewhat there, I want to level up. I'm probably not going to use you, so go ahead, level up. And, oh yeah, I leveled up Raven all the way as well. I forgot about that. Hmm, I probably should level you up too. Go for it. Go out and have fun. Not like I'm ever going to use a gray, though. But yep, all you can really try to do is just turn out, tune out the toxic fan base. The people that blindly love things can be really annoying their love and really force it on you. Because of that, people are unwilling to get into certain things. Like, I was very unwilling to get Rick and Morty for a few years. Then I watched the first three seasons. Then I watched the fourth season and then stopped. Because I took it for myself and the series was not as fun as I thought it would be. The first two seasons were good, but not 
nearly as good as Futurama, in my opinion. Just a reference. Tank and infantry. Super scoop. Neat. And, you know. It, it's more one of those, like, you could use it as, like, a reference to see if you want to go into it or not. But, you know, don't completely dismiss a thing just because somebody has such blind love or hate for it. You gotta try and negate them if you can help it. Oh, they do not make it easy. Ooh, Poppy Alpha! Huh, weird. I kinda thought you'd be able to evolve, honestly. Because of... Actually, you don't technically change. You just... does be... <sighs> Whatever. That's Xenoblade 2. Don't worry about it. So who's our fighter? Meta Knight! Tournaments! Oh, then again, you aren't nearly as good as you used to be. Oh, I love we both came in the same way. <laughs> How weird. Yeah, we'll deal with Rathalos next time. That's all I have to say. Oh, I was hoping you'd stay on the ground and get yourself killed. That would be wonderful. That's all I can say. You should judge for yourself if you are a big fan of something or not. Don't take somebody else's, you know, blind love or hate for something as at face value. I mean, again, I prefer if they actually have reasons for it. I'm more of like, if you don't have a reason for it, then, you know, if you're gonna say it doesn't say it, then, you know, I don't like that. It doesn't really give a good valid opinion of something. If you have a valid reason or criticism, or if it, like, really was really helpful for you in your childhood or something, or nostalgic, better not join the battle! Or potentially ruin your childhood, there's that too, I guess. That's why there's some people that aren't, weren't able to get into horror things. The guy took me forever to get into Resident Evil, because I freaking was afraid of it as a kid. Like, Jesus. I was not a fan of a lot of horror-based things because of watching my brother try to play Resident Evil Zero and it scared the daylights out of me, so I just did not have the heart for it. But yep, you know, judge something for yourself. Use somebody's criticism if they at least give some. As you know, some merit to go on. It can help give you a better opinion, but, you know. A different perspective doesn't hurt, but, you know. Yeah, all we'll have left is up around that corner and all that stuff. We are nearly close to finishing this exploration, finally. That's all I have to say, just, you know, you if there's no actual reason for why they praise or hate something they do, basically just fucking ignore it. It's basically somebody just crying wolf. Somebody just screaming just so they can have their voice be heard. I do hate people like that, that literally just talk just so they can hear themselves talk more. They want to feel important. Oh, well. It's up to you whether you feel important or not. Do it yourself. Make yourself feel better without putting others down, please. Come back next time. We will take care of Rathalos and we can finally make our way to Galeem. But even if I could go after Galeem, I'm not going to. We still had all the other spirits to go after. It's not a proper send-off, but I don't kill everybody else. I mean, rescue everybody else in the process. Yeah, rescue. That's the word. <laughs>